Beef. Hi, can I place an order for takeout? Okay, what is your name? Uh, my name is Sean. Hi, Sean. What would you like? Uh, could I do one uh, Italian meatball sandwich? Okay. And then Thank one... You. Uh, one, my cardiologist needs a new car. Okay. And that's it. Alright, give us about 20 minutes, okay? Okay, perfect. See you soon. Thank you. Sixers, hello. Welcome back to Number Six with Cheese. Today, we're headed up to Andersonville for JB's Deli. This is another authentic kosher style Jewish deli. Gonna knock another one off the list. So come on by. You're already here when you come on by. Just stay here. Hold on one second. Alright, a big bag of sandwiches from JB's Deli, Andersonville acquired jump cut. Alrighty, uh, this is Corey's thing that he got. Corey Wagner, second angle. Alright, let's see what we got going on right here. And boom and boom. The world's smallest meatball sub. Uh, two meatballs, they are sizable, covered in cheese. Uh, some tomato sauce and does at least look edible. So that's good. Everything but the size. Size does matter, ladies. And yeah. Gentlemen. And yours was 12 bucks. Jesus Christ. So hopefully those meatballs are going to be the greatest meatballs of all time. <laughs> Bag of ruffles, a pickle. All right. And then I got the my cardiologist needs a new car. Triple decker hot brisket, corned beef, pastrami, Swiss, served on rye with coleslaw, spicy mustard, and horseradish. Three fourths pound of deli meats and fixings. It's massive. That's, <clears throat> I mean, can't tell until it tastes, but at least size-wise it looks like it's worth it really $18. Does. Yeah, it does. I asked him, he said they've been open over 20 years. Oh, good for them. Made it through a pandemic, dude. You can do anything. Yeah, that's great lighting. Look at this thing in my hand. This is insane. Alrighty, folks, we've made it to the eating portion of the video. JB's Deli, Andersonville. Cheers. Cheers. Time to unhinge my jaw. Okay. I mean, I'm just happy that I can eat this meatball sub at this point. Yeah. You've taken some L's this year. I have. The bread's pretty trash. This is so tender. That brisket on top is unbelievable. That looks pretty unreal. The meatballs are very good. Oh my god. On this. That's good. Mm-hmm. I think you've eaten more meatball subs in the past year than I have my whole life. Wow. <laughs> I love meatball subs. Yeah, they are good. This is fantastic. This is one of those things where it very easily could have just been really big mm -hmm. and looked cool and that's it. Tastes good though, huh? Unbelievable. And there's, I mean, this is three meals. Like if I eat this whole thing right now, I'm going to be a whale. You could, you could really take all that meat and probably make it into about seven to ten sandwiches. Yeah. This is a platter. Mm -hmm. This is a Jewish deli platter they put into basically two pieces of bread. I'm blown away by this. This is so good. So normally with these types of sandwiches, like if I only want to take a bite of this chunk and I did that, the rest of it would fall apart. It holds its form. Look, look, yeah, I, look, I don't know how that even works. I took a bite of just that section and now I can just be like, all right, I'm going to come over here now and just eat this section. Put it stays together. Yeah, things defying physics over there. JB's a damn gentleman. Mm -hmm. He was so nice in there too. Like, the place is just so family run. It's literally a Jewish deli in like a pharmacy. Oh yeah, I saw a sign for pharmacy. I was like, maybe it was two different businesses, like they were just in a mm -hmm. pharmacy. No, nope, it's all one thing. You can get your uh, your day quill, your night quill, and a smoked turkey sandwich on the way out. Can't beat it. Is that real turkey or is it a turkey roll? I don't want that processed turkey. Oh my God. I wish this uh, meatball sub had a little bit more sauce, which is a risky game, obviously. Yep. You get crazy, but yep. a little light on sauce. The meatballs are really good. 12 bucks is probably a bit much, but it's way more filling than I expected mm. because the meatballs are just so sizable. It's just like that. And they're going meat. I guess they're going big. Mm -hmm. And the bread, like I said, was trash on my first bite because it's like so chewy, but I mean, it does serve its purpose. That's good. Keeping the whole thing together. Yeah, so. I was going to say, you, that's an easy sandwich to eat in the car. 
mm -hmm. which is normally not something you can say for most meatball subs we've, we've seen on the show. Right. Their menu was so extensive. Ridiculous. They have everything. Like even Their menu's like that sandwich. It's yeah. overstuffed. It's overstuffed. <laughs> the whole section of overstuffed sandwiches was awesome. And then if you just like don't even want to mess with the Jewish deli stuff and you just want a meatball sub and Italian beef, they had hot sloppy dogs, Joe. and sloppy joes. Like, and it seems like they're putting everything together like with care. It's not just like they're flash frying like a hot dog or something. It really seemed like a legit operation. They're a very small business. I don't want a broad stroke, but that seems like a deli type of thing. Yeah, I do too. That's a good point. They're, maybe I'm broad stroking with this sentence, but delis are like, they all seem basically more or less family run. I agree. Which I think. I think a lot of care comes with that. I do too. That's a good way to put it. I'm gonna censor this part. <laughs> that's too that's too sexy for you guys. It looks like good pickle. Delis are known for their pickles too. That's damn good, dude. Which I respect. This is unreal. Mm. That's a better meat. That's you devoured it. Unfortunately, the second best meatball sub I've had in Chicago. That's great news for JB's. Chicago is bad for meatball subs. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get you know? it. I get it. Here, look away. I'm gonna eat a tomato. <laughs> Fantastic. God, I love pasta salad. Is that cold? Yeah. Yeah, I don't mess with cold things. That's why I've never gotten into pasta salad. I love it. I got a cold heart, but I don't got cold taste buds. You know, I'm not down with that You, you type really of stuff. don't, yeah. I never really thought about that till I met you and you talked about that. Like, I kind of get that. My hatred for cold items that are supposed to be warm. I had a cold piece of pizza today. Mm. And I know that grosses you out. I almost called you just to tell you. I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> I was gonna wait to tell you in person. Man. Well, so I could see your face. See that look of shock and disgust? I like cold pizza. A lot of people do. I'm the, I'm the weird one on that. The other thing I was tasting, I forgot, the horseradish on this is really good. I feel like I don't get a lot of horseradish on Jewish I mean, deli sandwiches. I think I like, I don't remember if I like horseradish or not. It's a very, like, very Is that that stuff that they say uh, gets rid of COVID if you got it? Yeah, you just rub horseradish all over it. Ivermectin. I can't get over this. This rye bread is amazing. Is that your favorite bread? I think rye is my favorite. Well, that's my favorite bread for sure. I, think I like marble rye a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. I also really like pumpernickel. How about for the comment today, what everybody's favorite bread is? That's what I was setting it up for. Oh, no. That's what I was setting it up for, baby. I see what you did. Just throwing alley oops, old Shawnee boy. No you really are. You were, you're, you'd probably be great to throw alley oops to people. Little no lookers. No lookers, dude. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to take the rest of that home. All right. Um, I also just watched the new Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings. The new oh, Marvel. Oh, cool. Oh my God, is it good. He was good on SNL. He was. Yeah. The movie's even better than that. Whoa. Little different vibe than yeah, sketch comedy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, all right. Maybe that'll be our PMG today. We'll see. Um, don't forget to like this video. It helps a lot. It's one click and it helps us so much. It's something you can do for free. I don't know why I'm doing this. Hey, let me roll these up, huh? Um, and don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel. And then comment today your favorite bread. Favorite bread. Favorite bread. I'm going to go rye. I think I'm, I'm right there with you. We're a couple of rye boys. Uh, what is your favorite bread? Comment that below and let's do a shout out. Merch out, merch out, merch out. We got a new shirt. We got all kinds of stuff, dude. There's only a certain amount of beanies left if you want those for the winter time. Koozies, hot sauce, you know the drill. To support the show on one of the best ways you can do it, it's by buying stuff on the site. You buy something, you get a shout out. We're gonna do a shout out now. Keep in mind, faster shout out, hot sauce subscription, save 25%, two names. Merch shout out number one goes Mr. Vernon Freeman. <laughs> Vernon did get the uh, hot sauce subscription. She got, or he got the two pack. That's both bottles of hot sauce getting delivered every single month. Uh, to Corpus Christi, Texas. Oh, hell yeah. So I hope you're enjoying that, Mr. Vernon. And merch shout out number two goes to Mr. David Broadwater. Uh, West Deptford, New Jersey. He got, well, this order, this is kind of a cool order. He just got two stickers. Sometimes it's a simple order. He got the hamburger logo sticker and he got the, uh, the horizontal logo sticker. So David's rocking those maybe on a car, maybe on a trapper keeper. Uh, you never really know. You can put them anywhere just about. So uh, number six with cheese.com. Thanks for buying. Thank you to David. Thank you to Vernon. Vernon. <laughs> I have a attention, attention span of a gnat, dude. Both of us. Uh, uh, uh. So thank you guys so much. We love you and thanks for supporting the show. No amount of money will stop making me wear denim. Uh, out of five, Shang-Chi's from the Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings. Um, how many Shang-Chi's? Shang-Chi? Shang-Chi. Do you give the meatball sub that you had $12 JB's, Corey? Um, it was pretty filling to the point where I'll say it was close to being worth $12. Not quite, but pretty close. It was filling. A uh, little light on the sauce. Would've liked a little bit more sauce. The meatballs were fantastic though. Now, I feel like I should give a little leeway to this place because it's a deli. I really shouldn't be getting meatballs, but I have a vendetta against deli meat because you can buy it from the grocery store. I, I'll i give that a, I'll give it a three. That seems fair. 
I just like the ongoing saga of you and Meatball Subs. I'm a fan of narratives, and I really like this narrative. <laughs> this is why I don't read. I just watch you and your life. There you go. <laughs> this thing that I had was absolutely incredible. Um, as far as like the argument goes of like how simple delis can be, let's just say that. What they did with that sandwich, I could never come close to doing. I don't know. Everything melded together well. That rye bread was incredible. It's better than any rye bread I bought at the store. It's for damn sure. But um, that's so much food. Eighteen dollars. I mean, that's think about it. We've got like eighteen dollar burgers. Yeah, sometimes and it's that is huge. Yeah, I I'm fine with that at a Jewish deli. I know that going in. It's a little more expensive, but I kind of like that's a treat for me. Yeah. Like I go to Jewish it's delis to, place to treat myself. You know? Yeah. I'm not gonna eat that and then go back to work. <laughs> that is very much like a end of the week or kind of thing for me. I really loved the spicy mustard and then that like mu the spicy mustard and the horseradish mixed together with the meat was incredible. I was blown away by that. Dude, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go high on this. It's not the perfect Jewish sam Jewish deli sandwich. I'm gonna go 4.75. Wow. I, you guys saw me the whole video. I was just blowing my load all over this car. And that's almost like its own category. That's almost like it is. Like not you don't even want to compare it to a, a Jewish like sandwich yeah. because it's like built to be bigger and better. Yeah. You know, it's like it's yeah. It's supposed to be so large that it's in almost in a different category. Like in a novelty. Sense. It really. It's is. a novelty. Yeah. And he it's even almost, labeled them overstuffed sandwiches. Yeah, they got a bunch of those. He, and I bet they're all awesome. Yeah. If you if you pick up on context clues and understand the definition of words, you can understand that might happen to you. That might be just a massive bomb of a sandwich. So 4.75, I feel great about that. If you guys are anywhere near Andersonville, JB's, for me, I'm telling you, go to that spot. They're so nice in there too. That was a really fun experience. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Tomorrow, uh, honoring another patron that donates $35 a month or more. Uh, we're going to Big G's. Big G's. Come on back. Thanks for rocking with us. Don't forget to comment your favorite bread below. JB, nice job.